everybody it's Marie from Copeland's Creations uh, here to with you here with you to do another craft um, I found this lovely little sign at the dollar store and I thought I might do something with uh, the different lines in the different sections so I have found some paper and you might recognize like this pattern I have more of it I just don't know exactly where it's at um, I'm going to use this pattern. <laughs> I found this pattern in my stock and it's not hearts, but it's a cute little, yeah, it'll be cute. <clears throat> and then I have my big book of bright colors that I'm going to throw in some, some bright colors. I might throw in a purple and, um, a red or a pink and my son is calling me right now. So um, I will be right back with this and we will see you in a minute. Bye. All right, I'm back. I kicked him off the phone. So what we're going to do is I picked out some paper and this is what I'm thinking. I hope you guys like it. Let me get it more into like, I, I actually traced that while I was talking to him. So, um, these are the colors I'm thinking kind of a mixture. And my thought process behind this is it's very eclectic. I get that. Um, there's five spots, so each one. And then I have these great transfers. And um, they're, these are from Magnolia. These are the, the transfers now. There's this really cool one that has some purple in it. That's why I picked the purple. <laughs> or there's that one and then some others. Um, I, I could do that. I was thinking about doing that. Or I just dropped some other hearts. There's some cute little hearts I got. Um, I'm pretty sure these are Dollar Tree hearts. I have lots of hearts that I that I bought. So I kind of think I want to go with the roses. Or if they're not roses, they're just flowers. I don't really know what they are. I'm sorry. Um, but something like that on here would be really pretty um, with the background. That dog might be the death of me today. So... I'm pretty sure we're not going to get through this with any silence from him. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to take, I don't know, it's not, they're like missing, I don't know. I might just leave them for a little bit and see if I can live, if I don't hate them and just live with it, even though they're not, um, they're a little, sh little long, so I don't know, maybe I'll shorten the cord or something. I'm just going to leave them on for now. And hope that's good. Um, so what I did was I took my um, pattern and I lined it up with the lines and I drew and then I used my straight edge and connected them. So hopefully, 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 when I do this, And because I drive myself crazy, I want to make sure I get all of this little spot. So then when I put it on and I decoupage it on, it's going to fit just like that. Okay. So I'm going to work through and I'm probably not going to talk, so I'm just going to bust through these. Um, for the next ones, the nice thing, the easiest thing to do is to um, put this on my edge. Okay, mark here and mark here. Okay. Once I do that, then I can take my straight edge from my point and my point, and then uh, there I go. And wow, I picked a dark color, didn't I? So there we go. And then I'm just going to cut it out, place it on, and make sure it fits. <coughs> That will help, maybe. I don't know. Okay.
kind of radical, but I like it. And then um, once I get it decoupaged on, I'm going to do a little uh, distressing to it too. So I think it will soften it up a little bit. Right, probably this chippy brush wasn't the one to do. My hardest part is going to be getting the little grooves in here that I want to get sanded. I don't, it's going to take a few attempts to figure out the best way to do this. Ooh, that wasn't what I wanted. Going to use some antique wax.
I guess I'm going to stain these dark because I've already got stuff on them, but. go. I like it. Okay. As it's drying, I just want to look at, I think that would go really nice there. Kind of follow the line. I think so. <clears throat> I put it down here then I could put this up here that's cute So now we're going to add the transfers. So I know it's going to go there. I just want to lay them out so I get a feel for them. I want it upside down, but I do think it looks better this way. Okay. All right.
I don't know if I want to add these little roses. I have pink. I do also have, these ones are more paper, which I think I might use. Hmm. Look at all my different, yeah, let's see. Hmm. Maybe a little one right there. Maybe there. Little white ones. I think I have just little white ones. purple one. I didn't like that one. There we go. It's a little better. And then one more here. Hmm. What do you think? I guess I didn't put that one on. Looking for the final touch on this project, I am going to use some of my uh, letters, my, what is that called, the, the game you play with, with letters. I, obviously, I'm not a speller, so I never played the game. Um, I am going to use love. And I think it just kind of adds to the quirkiness of what we're doing here. L-O-V-E. See, I can spell kind of. And we'll just kind of... Kind of offset everything so it doesn't look like I'm trying to be... What do you think? Oh, I like that. A little bit of goo off the edge.
Okay. Can turn this off. All right. There we go. Another project done. Thank you so much. Um, remember, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Share the love. Uh, share it with somebody, one of your friends. And uh, don't forget to subscribe so you know when um, one of my videos is being uploaded. Um, I think that's all. I think this is Copeland's Creations. I'm Marie, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.